Russia has completely withdrawn troops from the Ukrainian capital Kyiv and the northern city of Chernihiv amid Moscow's preparations to concentrate forces in eastern Ukraine. The Pentagon says the complete withdrawal of Russian forces is confirmed only in the last 24 hours. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warned Moscow was sending reinforcement and trying to push deeper into eastern Ukraine, where the Kremlin says its goal is to liberate Donbas, Ukraine's industrial heartland with a majority population. Russian-speaking people. US and European intelligence officials believe that Russia is in the process of reorienting its military campaign after encountering fierce resistance in northern Ukraine. Accordingly, Russia will have a greater advantage in eastern Ukraine, where Ukrainian government troops and Russian-backed separatists have been fighting for years. And Russia wants to see a victory in Donbas during the celebration of Victory Day 9 over 5, the day of the total victory of the Allies against the fascists. Western officials believe that Russia will prioritize control of the entire Donetsk and Luhansk regions, or find a way to create a bridge to Crimea, or achieve both goals. However, the Ukrainian army will not back down, President Zelensky announced, the Ukrainian people will do everything to win. Ukrainian authorities have also urged people living in the Donbas region to evacuate immediately in the face of a new attack. A Western official, who declined to be named, said that Russian forces damaged on the battlefield would take at most about a month to regroup in preparation for a large-scale advance in eastern Ukraine. NATO and Western analysts say that Russia is determined to consolidate its interests in the south and southeast of Ukraine. The next Russian targets appear to be the strategic towns of Slavyansk, Kramatorsk and Severodnetsk. However, any Russian attack will meet the extremely strong resistance of the Ukrainian army. In the city of Mariupol, Mervadim Boychenko said that of the more than 5,000 civilians killed in the past several weeks, 210 were children. Mayor Boychenko said more than 90% of the city's infrastructure had been destroyed. In the north, Ukrainian authorities say the bodies of at least 410 civilians have been found in towns around Kyiv. The Ukrainian government insists that the Russian military committed war crimes. According to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry, within the past 24 hours, the country's defense forces have successfully repelled nine attacks by the Russian army in the area. Ukrainian soldiers destroyed six tanks, five armored vehicles, six vehicles and four artillery systems of the enemy. Ukraine's air defense also claimed to have shot down three targets yesterday. On April 6, the anti-aircraft missile force destroyed three air targets, a cruise missile, a UAV and an aircraft. According to preliminary data, it was a Su-34 fighter jet. As for Russia, according to Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Major General Igor Konoshenkov, Russia launched high-precision missiles into the Kharkiv region, destroying the armed forces' fuel facilities and military equipment depots. Ukraine. At the Lozov Air Railway Station in the Kharkiv region, the country's forces managed to destroy a place where foreign-made weapons and military equipment were stored. And in the Donetsk region, high-precision missiles destroyed the headquarters of the 56th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Internationally, foreign ministers from NATO member states will meet in Brussels today to discuss sanctions against Russia and ways to support Ukraine. Although Russia is currently focusing its offensive on eastern Ukraine, NATO sees no sign that Russia's goal of controlling the entire country has changed, Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg said. The head of NATO predicted that the Ukraine conflict could continue for a long time, but Ukraine would win. In the UK, the Ministry of Defense is considering several options, including sending Kyiv a permanent patrol vehicle such as the Master Farmed Vehicle or a vehicle that can be used for reconnaissance or long-range patrol such as a vehicle. Jackal Armor. The US has also sent 100 switchblade drones to the Ukrainian military, and the kit will arrive soon, a US Defense Department official said. Yes! Along with that, the US is also taking additional actions to increase economic pressure on Russia and President Vladimir Putin following the accusations in the Ukrainian city of Bucha.
the new sanctions will apply to Russian financial institutions, as well as a number of individuals, including Putin's daughter and the wife and children of the Russian foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov.